بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وآله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك أنت العليم الحكيم My topic today is about uh, differential diagnosis of abdominal calcification Here I will discuss some of the causes of the abdominal calcification and some examples. Here the differential diagnosis of abdominal calcification, gold stones, uh, urinary tract stones, abdominal incision or injection sites, pancreatitis, especially the chronic one, arterial calcification and aneurysm, costal cartilage, it is a normal variant mimic calcification, uterine fibroid, vas deferens calcification, splenic and hepatic granulomas, fibrobilis, calcified mesenteric lymph node, appendiculus or fecalis, blood calculi, and rostatic calcification. There are some other rare causes, no need to mention that. Here you see a plain abdomen showing uh, calcification in the right upper quadrant and located anteriorly. This is gold blood, gold blood stones with laminated part. Here, incidentally, there is a there are degenerative disc disease changes involving the dorsal lumbar spine associated with calcification of the anterior longitudinal ligament, and here you see the calcification of the aorta. Here you see the costal cartilage calcification in a female patient and there are tubal ligation bilaterally seen in the pelvis arrows here. Here, extensive calcification in the abdomen and the water and this is due to cysticercosis. Here you see two renal stones and multiple ureteric stones are seen on the right mid lower ureter and large stone in the urinary blood. And also you see you see surgical eclipse in the right upper abdomen and the midline of the abdomen. This is a magnified view, and you see the renal stones here, and multiple ureteric stones. Here you see patient, male patient, with the vast difference calcification. And uh, this is the left side, and this is the right side. Here you see patient with uh, uh, end stage renal disease, you see the calcification of the aorta and it is bifurcation and calcification noted on the each side of the iliac fossa on the left side and the right side. This is calcification in the failed transplanted kidney. Here you see a calcification in the gold bladder wall and this is called borsaline gold bladder and this is a very malignant condition. There are degenerative disc disease changes involving the dorsal lumbar spine. Here is the brain abdomen with a female patient with bilateral calcification in the adrenal glands. This is a magnified view and you see the calcification of both adrenal glands. And here you see the calcification, it is located anterior to the vertebral body located posteriorly. Here you see 
calcification involving the left kidney. This is due to TB and causing autonephrectomy. And also you see incidental calcification involving the aorta. Here you see the calcification in a cyst with the outside the kidney and this is classified hydrated cyst. Here you see abdomen x-ray in a female patient, large stone involving the left kidney called the stag horn calculus. And this is a magnified view for the stag horn calculus involving the left kidney. Here you see Laminated uh, calcification in the right iliac fossa associated with slightly distended abdominal gas, especially in the small bowel. This patient has abdominal pain and has history with Crohn's disease. And this is the this is Goldstone ileus. Thank you for listening. Hoping this helps you in daily practice. And see you soon.